Yeah, so in this research, uh, my student Catherine acquired both structural and functional data. So the structural data tells us something about the wiring between different areas of the brain. And the functional data tells us about the information that's going along those wires, essentially. And traditionally, people analyze the structure and the function quite differently, and then try to put together the results. In this study, what Catherine did with her collaborator at the Donder Center in, in the Netherlands, is to actually analyze the structure and function data together. So we look at both the integrity of the wiring, the so-called white matter, and we look at the information content flowing along those wires. And that gave us uh, new insights into how concussion works, both acutely uh, as well as at a six-month time point or even a multi-year time point. So what we found was there were brain signatures combining structure and function that allowed us to identify people with a concussion at a very early stage, um, right after the concussion. Uh, but what we also found was even six months or a year later that there were persistent changes in the brain uh, even after their symptoms were gone and they were back playing on the field. There's nothing that we can measure that allows us to say, yes, this person had a concussion yesterday, or yes, this person has had, say, five concussions over the last 10 years. With this study, we now can do both of those, in fact. We can tell you something about the concussion history of an individual based on their functional MRI and on their structural imaging. And we can also tell you whether they had a concussion yesterday morning that was undetected by the coach, for example, but now they have symptoms and we'd like to explain the symptoms.